Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, let's look at 12 of the best crossbody bags available on the market today. For a long time on my handbag bag lifetime, crossbody bags were the only ones that I would buy. I have tried quite a few throughout the years and today my first on the list of being one of the best is a new bag that I have come across and I know I'm late to the party but it is the Fendi Mini Baguette. This bag is fabulous. You can get this bag in leather, you can get this bag in fabric, you can get this bag in sequence, you can get this bag in all the colours. They bring out seasonal colours, they bring out seasonal canvas sequence. I think it's fabulous and it is at a price point for luxury handbags that is actually reasonable. You can get a leather Fendi mini baguette for £1,750. The canvas mini baguette starts at £1,550 and the sequenced mini baguette is £2,550 for an absolute showstopper. Now I will always love the Chanel mini, I think it's a fabulous bag. But when you compare the Fendi mini baguette with the price of the Chanel mini, and the added functionality of the Fendi version, it has to be a bag that's worthy of looking at. You can wear this bag easily crossbody. The chain is detachable, so you can change the chain if you want. You can wear it as a top handle. You can take the top handle off and wear it as a clutch. On the crossbody, when I put it on at its full length, I find it a little bit long for me, but you can open up the flap, cross the strap across it, attach it to the other side and it becomes a shorter crossbody very easily that worked very well for me. You can also take the chain off and you can double up each side and put it on your shoulder and it looks like it's meant to be like that. It doesn't look like you're playing with it. It looks fabulous. This is a bag that I very much see in my future. I maybe see multiple in my future depending on the sequence and the colours that come out and I think a great option to consider for a crossbody bag. Number two is the Chanel Mini and like the Fendi Mini, I do have the Fendi Medium Baguette down, you can see the purple one. That is not a great crossbody bag unless you are going to buy an additional strap, happy to use a chain extender or you like a slightly higher crossbody. And the same as the Chanel Classic Flap, that's also not a great crossbody bag, but the Chanel Mini is fabulous. I love this bag. I think this bag aesthetically is very, very pleasing. You get the look of a traditional Chanel bag if that's what you're going for. I prefer the Chevron, which is this one. I think it's a little bit more modern. Although I have the quilting as well. I like the quilting too, but this is my favorite. This will come in many, many different colors. One of the downsides of this is if you want a caviar one, which is this one, you will have to go onto the pre-love market and you will pay a premium. You can get it lambskin in the boutique although they're not that readily available. The price of these I'm gonna put at around 4,000 pounds, depending if you can get it in the boutique or pre-loved. If it's pre-loved, you could be paying up to 5,000 pounds, depending on the color. If you go for a rose gold one like this one, you could be paying much more than that. So the price of this will depend on which one you're after. If you're looking for one in the boutique, you're going to be in the region of 4,000 pounds, although it will depend if it's fabric, sequenced, leather, the choice that you make but they're beautiful. I think they're stunning, stunning bags. Downsides of this is the chain is not detachable. It is not adjustable, but you can on the inside, bring these across and clip them together here. That makes it a shorter bag for your shoulder. You can pull it in completely. I have done this before and I have worn it as a clutch, but as a crossbody bag, if the length of this bag suits you, I think it's fabulous. I think the look of it really elevates an outfit. Far, yes, still very expensive, but a far better price than a Chanel Classic flap and you're still getting the look. They bring these out in fabulous colors, fabrics, prints. I've got caught with these, love them. Great, great option as a crossbody if you can get them and at a price you're willing to pay. Number three is the YSL Lulu. Now this is a bag that I no longer have. I used to have this bag, but I had it in a beige with silver hardware. I would have preferred the gold hardware and I found myself using the Chanel 19 over this bag quite a lot, but that does not take away from the fact that this is a fabulous bag. This is a full leather bag that you can wear comfortably crossbody. If you want a smaller look, they also have the Toy Lulu, although that changes the chain that it comes with to a strap, but a really good option as a crossbody bag 
especially the larger version that you can double the chain up and also wear on your shoulder. It is more versatile and the price of these, although they have gone up over the last few years, is not ridiculous. For a full leather bag, the price is £2,230. One of the downsides of the Lulu and YSL in general is that you will get a wider range of neutral colours. They don't bring out the same versions that often of bright colours or fabrics or different interesting looking bags. But if you're a neutral lover, the YSL is a beautiful bag. It is a decent price for a full leather bag and it will hold quite a lot and I think a really good option if you're interested in looking for a crossbody bag and could be a very good option for an everyday crossbody bag. Number four is the Louis Vuitton Cousine bag. I didn't really pay much attention to this bag until I was in London recently with the gang and you may have watched an unboxing from Dea but Wild Unfiltered. If you haven't, you should. And she bought this Cousine bag in the Navy and it's absolutely stunning. And when she put it on, we both had had a discussion saying we don't know if this bag is worth the price. Can it justify the price? Is there enough to it? As soon as she put it on, it was beautiful. It's a stunning leather. It's soft. It fits quite a lot. The strap comes as a fabric strap, so it's light. That's if you're getting the bigger size. The strap is different if you're getting the smaller size. It comes with the chunky chain that hangs across it, which personally I love because I like a bit of bling and in your face but that is detachable you can take it off you don't have to have it on your bag it also fits as a necklace you can wear it different ways you could wear that chain with other bags it's flat the style of the bag is an accordion but it sits flat to the body and the leather's fabulous this bag is one that has came out and grabbed me and I kind of thought, no, I don't want that. I don't think it's worth the price point. And then I saw the bag on, saw how it works as a crossbody and think it's fabulous. For the larger size, which is the PM size, it is 3,400 pounds in the leather. Number five is a new bag from Louis Vuitton. It is the Oxford bag and I love this. <laughs> I think this bag as an everyday crossbody leather bag is stunning. I really like the caramel. The black's beautiful as well. Both of these are surprising because I generally don't go for neutral colours, but there's something about this bag. The leather, the hardware against it. The hardware I think is quite a statement. I think this bag is stunning. I think as an everyday crossbody bag, absolutely beautiful and one that's worthy of consideration if you're looking for a crossbody bag and it is coming in at £2,290. So the price of it as per Louis Vuitton leather bags isn't yet ridiculous. I think it probably will go up over time, but a really beautiful option. Number six and sticking with Louis Vuitton and this is the Louis Vuitton carry-all bag. Now this is one that surprised me. I didn't think I would like this bag. If you're looking for a bigger, slouchy crossbody bag, this is beautiful. And Deal from Deal's Addiction influenced me on this. She has this in the black on plant leather, which is the one I particularly like. Worn crossbody as a work bag. It fits a laptop. It's very, very big. This is only an option if you're looking for a very big bag. You can get the smaller version, but I don't think the smaller version is as striking as the bigger version. I don't think the proportions are just as wow, in my opinion. The bigger one, slouchy in the on plant leather, could fit your laptop, your book, everything you need, worn across a suit or a winter coat. Oh, I think it's beautiful. I really, really, really like this in the black on plant leather. It also comes in the canvas. I like the canvas, but my preferred version is the black on plant. I think it's beautiful for a large crossbody, slouchy, non structured bag. And the cost of this in that version is £2,430. Number seven is the Chanel 19, and this is my version in the black. This is a great crossbody bag. Only thing I will say about it, and this is personal preference, is I would like this chain to be ever so slightly longer. I can get away with this and I wear this crossbody and I wear it comfortably crossbody. I am five foot one and a UK size 12. But if I had my preference, it would be very, very slightly longer. Another thing to consider about this bag, although I love this bag, is that if you wear it all day, it can get heavy because it's a full leather bag. It has these chains. I really like the look of this hanging across it and I have worn this as a top handle as well and it does give a little bit of versatility. Love the look of it but the chains obviously add to the weight to the bag. So I have worn this for a full day's shopping and I have had it filled and it has started to pull on the shoulder. Now I have an organiser in mine. I just like the look 
of that. I don't love puffy, puffy slouchy bags. So the organizer makes this work better for me. I do like the large pocket on the back of it. You can slip your phone in here. I like the oversized quilt. I think that makes it more modern. And I think this is a very functional bag for Chanel. I think it's a really good option. I also really like the look of it. I think it's very striking. I will say though, it's quite casual. I've never worn this as a dressier bag. For me, this is an everyday bag and it has had quite considerable price increases for an everyday bag. And that's something you may want to consider. This currently costs 5,890 pounds in the smaller size which is this one. I do think it's great. I think it's fabulous, but obviously for an everyday bag, that's quite a financial investment and you would need to be sure that you love it. Number 10, I don't have, but I really, really like, and it's the Dior Bobby bag. And I'm laughing slightly because I have read all the comments of what the closure clasp thing on the Dior Bobby bag reminds some people of, but I really like this bag. It's probably the same type of bag as the Louis Vuitton Oxford, that type of style. I think as an everyday crossbody, I like the oblique in this, but I also like the leather. I think it's a really good option. I just think as a slightly, I was going to say understated, it's not understated for most people because as it has a big CD in the middle of it, but when you wear bags that are these sorts of colors, this in a neutral color, I think would probably be slightly more understated for me and I really like it. I think it's a good everyday option. And the Dior Bobby's bag in the medium size is 2,800 pounds, which is a lot of money, but is not the sort of money you're talking about a Chanel. And I think it was really pretty. Number nine is another bag I don't have and it is the Gucci Blondie small shoulder bag. Now you can wear a cross body and it really reminds me of the Gucci Soho disco camera bag. I don't have that bag, but a lot of my friends here on YouTube do have it. And the ones that do have it rave about how good this is as an everyday crossbody grab and go bag. Deb from Wild and Filtered has this, has had it for a long time, used it for a long time and raves about how functional it is. And I think this version is kind of taking the place of that bag. There's also the horse bit bag, which I also think is a really good crossbody bag and is also, I think, very striking. Gucci, I think, are doing some good work at the minute. But this, I think, as an everyday option, casual, grab and go, throw on leather bag if you want designer because it is Gucci, I think is a really, really good option. And the price point isn't bad. It's £1,230 in the small size not gonna carry everything, but if you're talking about an everyday essential bag for going not being too heavy, I think this is one to look at. Number 10 is a bag that I think is elegant and beautiful and I've talked about before in this channel and it is the Celine Triumph bag in the classic size, which is 2,950 pounds. Stunning. It's the clasp on this bag. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Now they did bring this out in a gold and silver sequenced version and the sequins were in the pattern of the Celine print. I thought it was stunning. Now that was not an everyday bag and that would not be an everyday crossbody bag, but it was beautiful. But I do love this in the classic black with the gold triumph lock. I think it's stunning. I think it's elegant. I think it's classic. Probably not the sort of bag that I would normally go for, but this one has really grabbed my attention and I think is beautiful. 2,950, the only thing you would need to be aware of on this is a lot of them have a smooth leather and that will mark if that's something that would annoy you, if your nail caught it, for example, just at that price, be aware that that is something that could happen, but a really beautiful bag. If you do go for the smooth leather in any of these bags, that makes them less throwabout less durable, less grab and go because you just have to be aware of the marking and the scratching. If you look at my Dior mini saddlebag back here, that is a smooth leather. I have to be more careful with that. And the Triumph in the smooth leather would be quite the same. Number 11 and a bag they're supposed to be discontinuing is the Loewe puzzle bag. I don't have one of these and I've looked at them so many times. I think I've been constantly waiting for the right version and I think I've decided the right version for me would be one that is tricolor. So the patterns on the bag, the panels of the puzzle bag are all different colors and then you get the look of what it's supposed to show the puzzle and I like the different colors. Mono Steel recently got one of these in a watermelon and I loved that. I, I really love that. I think it's quirky and cool and that's one that I think I could live with in my collection. But they are, I think, really cool bags. Go well crossbody. The mini, I think, is a fabulous size. They do have a larger size as well because the mini is quite small, although it does fit quite a lot and it fits your phone. Larger, obviously, you're going to be able to carry more. 
quite a cool bag. Not really sure why they're discontinuing it. It's quite popular. I know they're bringing a different version of it, but I like the original. You can find these pre-loved. You can find these at decent prices on the pre-loved market. The mini version is currently £1,750 and the small version is 2400 They do come in some fabulous neutrals. The tan is a beautiful colour. Me being me is drawn to the multicoloured ones. But the tan and the neutrals are stunning and I think a really good option as a crossbody bag. It looks really, really good crossbody, but it also looks really well when you take the strap off and you carry it. So I think for a crossbody bag, great option. And number 12 is a bit of a curveball, not a bag that I have, not a bag that I normally talk about, but it's one that I have seen recently and I think is very, very beautiful. And it's the Demelier Vancouver bag. Now this would probably be classed more as a contemporary bag. It is £385. It comes in a range of colours. They have a beautiful burgundy in it. A lot of them are smooth leather. So again, what we were talking about on the Celine bag, just be aware of the smooth leather and you can scratch it or mark it. It's a bag that actually puts me in mind of the Celine Triumph bag. One that I think there's a lot of similarities to, but it's £385. And if you're not totally convinced about the style of the bag, the shape of the bag, spending that amount of money on the bag, this could be a good one to try. The clasp on it I still think is beautiful. I still think this is a really, really beautiful bag. This would be an option as an everyday crossbody bag. Not huge, but would fit your essentials, would look very smart for work, would look very discreet for work over a coat, over a suit. Really, really good option. And I think as a contemporary bag, one that's worth considering. Those are 12 of my best crossbody bags on the market at the moment. Obviously there are others. The Prada edition that I have down here is I think is a great bag, but I generally don't wear that crossbody. I prefer that as the handheld. There's going to be the Louveton twist as well, although that can get quite heavy, but that's another great crossbody bag. There are more. I could go on, but for this video, those are 12 of the best crossbody bags that are available at the moment, in my opinion. I hope this has been entertaining or helpful for you. Please do consider giving it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please do consider subscribing. And if you're not done with me yet, I'm going to leave another video for you on the screen to enjoy. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching me. Please take care and I will see you again in the next one.